Okay, this evening I'm going to be making some salmon roe balls for sturgeon bait. Right here I got some Sacramento River King Salmon. Got the hens that I caught this year. Saved the skeins for sturgeon bait. And this is how I use it. I'm going to cut off a small piece just like that. This size or maybe size of a golf ball if you want to use one a little bit bigger. But I tend to find about that size is working good for me. So, I'm going to put it in a nylon mesh netting. I'm going to put it right in the center, close it all up around it with my fingers until I make a little ball and it's all enclosed in that mesh netting. Then I grab my magic thread, elastic thread, whatever you got works good. And then I just begin to pinch it down and then wrap, wrap. And give it a bunch of good wraps on it. Make sure it's on there good and tight. Therefore, I got it tight together. I'm going to put one or two fingers out. And I'm going to make a loop. And then I'm going to take that thread. And I'm going to go underneath that loop through my fingers once and twice. And then I let go of that string with my other two fingers. Cinch down. Tighten it. And that formed a knot. You keep it on there good. A couple more turns just to get over that knot. Done. Then I give it a slight trimming, get rid of this extra mesh that I don't need. And there I have my sturgeon bait. Excellent for this time of year while the salmon are still running, which is November. Goes into December, so this is still good bait all the way through then. But that's how I do it, and I hoped. It'll help for you. Salmon roe ball. All right. After I'm done with that, I'll trim off this little excess nylon. There we go. And then I got my roe ball. And then what I'll do is I'll get these Gamagatsu River to Sea hooks, which sturgeon fishing out here on the California Delta now requires a barbless hook. So we've busted the barb off, filed it down, made it real smooth and notice the shape of this hook it's not like your common J it is actually goes to a degree in an angle which curves which makes a dead stop right there so when I'm hooking into that fish it actually locks in more on it and doesn't slip around like the other other J style hooks so after that I'm gonna get my row ball and I'm just gonna do what poke it right through in and out. There we go. I've got it on my hook, ready to go. So I'll just give a little lob, toss her out there, and hopefully I'll be saying fish on. So I hope this helped show you how I do it when I sturgeon fish with my salmon roe.